I started out with 60 inch wide fabric folded in half. You don't have to cut off the savage edges, but mine was pretty wavy so I drew a line about an inch from the edge. Then I drew another line 2 and half inch from the first line. This is the center front line. And I cleaned up the bottom. I wanted the garment to measure 20 inches from the shoulder to the hem and added 2 inches for the seam allowances. Bring the folded edge to the center front line. Use a nice fitting t-shirt or anything you want to wear under the finished hoodie. Fold it in half and place the folded edge along the center front line. Place where the neckline starts at the top edge. Using tailored chalk or erasable fabric marker, mark the point. Measure out 1 inch from the shoulder. Measure down 2 inches and out 2 inches. Square down from that point. I didn't like the armhole line here, so I measured half inch to the left and connect it with the shoulder point. For the back neckline, measure 1 inch from the top. And for the front neckline, measure 3 inches from the top. I folded the left section to cut the neckline of the front facing, but quickly realized that I planned 1 inch overlap in the center front, so the facing was supposed to be 2 inch wide. I drew the front edge line half inch from the center front line, then folded the facing at the line to cut the neckline. I had this big piece left, which was perfect for cutting out pockets. You might not have this depending on the size of the hoodie you're creating, but you can just cut out the similar shape from the fabric, or even from some other fabric because the pockets will be inside. I want to catch the bottom of the pockets in the hem, but I don't want to have too much bulkiness in the hem since I want to put a wide elastic band in it too. So I cut off about half inch from the bottom of the pockets. Measure the sleeve length on the t-shirt or on the body from the shoulder to the wrist and add 2 inches for seam allowances. Now measure armhole of the bodice pieces. Measure straight from at half inch in from the shoulder edge to the half inch down from the underarm edge. And transfer that measurement to mark the center of the sleeve. Measure the same amount on the other side of the center mark. Measure down 3 inches from the top and square out about a couple of inches. Use the armhole measurement again and place it at the center of the sleeve and land the other end on the line you just made. Draw the armhole line like this.
and do the same thing on the other side. Measure up 1.5 inch for the sleeve hem and 3 inches in from the side. I want to use this curved line later, so I place some pins before cutting. Cut a notch at the center of the sleeves. Now measure the back neckline and the front neckline. It came out 9 inches, but subtract 1 inch for the shoulder seam allowance. Now I'm going to draft the hood using this curve. Add 1 and half inches, 1 inch for the front hem and half inch for the center back seam. I use 15 inches here for my 7 year old daughter but you can measure your favorite hood to copy the shape. Later when I sewed up the hood, I didn't like the shape and fixed it to more like this and it turned out to be a bit small. So I'd recommend drawing a shape more like this. I interfaced the front facing with 2 inch strips of fusible interfacing. With right sides facing each other, sew the shoulder seams. To reinforce the shoulder seams, I cut out strips of the same fabric and put them on top of the front body shoulders and sew with half inch seam allowance. I trimmed the seam allowances of the bodice and covered with the added strips. But you could just serge all three layers together instead. To attach the sleeve, I started at the shoulder seam and the center of the sleeve. You will probably have a little bit of sleeve left at the end. When you attach the rest of the sleeve, copy the difference on the other end for the even finish. Sew the back seam of the hood with half inch seam allowance. Then trim one of the seam allowances into half of the width. Tuck the wider seam allowance under the narrower seam allowance to completely encase the row edges. Double roll half inch of the front opening.
I forgot to do this but search the front edge at this point before attaching the hood. This is a game where you can just serge or zigzag to finish raw edges, but I used cotton twill tape to encase the seam allowances for a nicer finish. You can also use bias tape. Some colorful bias tape would be a cute design accent. Sew one pocket piece to the side of the front bodice between the opening, right side of the fabric together. Sew another line close to the edge to control the bulkiness of the seam allowance. This line should be slightly shorter than the first line. Sew through the pocket piece and seam allowances. Place another pocket piece over the first pocket piece with right sides together. I sewed here and here and also sewed the two pocket pieces together. Now serge or zigzag around pockets, sleeve hems, and armholes. I serge sleeve hems, arm holes, and around the pockets. Sew the underarm and side seams with continuous stitch, being careful not to catch the front pocket opening. If you have extra fabric on the sleeve, you can cut it off. I eyeballed the length for the bottom hem elastic, but you can get a good sense of how much you need by wrapping it around your hip. You want to encase the elastic in the hem, and also catch the bottom of the pocket in the hem so the pockets don't flop around too much. Sew here first through all layers including the elastic, then continue stitching the hem but without catching the elastic edge. Pull the elastic in the hem as you sew until you reach the other side. As front closure, I added plastic snaps in the same color. I love these plastic snaps because these are easy to install and have many different uses for kids apparel and other small items.